Hello fellow Crosstrek owners. I just wanted to make a quick video regarding some helpful tips and tricks for installing the RecGen mud flaps. This is not a complete tutorial video. It's more of just a way to see some of the ins and outs that you may not fully see in the other instructional videos out there on YouTube. Um, I hope this is helpful for you, and feel free to ask me any questions. So first, for the front, you want to turn the wheel all the way out, so that way you have enough room to access these screws here that you're going to put in. So I'm currently installing the RecGen mud flaps on my 2023 Subaru Crosstrek Sport. And unlike the other models, it appears that the Sport does not have any metal clips in here. Okay, so I just finished installing the passenger front mud flap and now I'm doing the driver's side. And instead of taking this piece all the way out, I'm gonna try and install the clips with it halfway out because on the other side, it was a real pain to try and get this upper portion snug back underneath the plastic cladding. So I think this is the way to go. So as you can see, there's not a whole lot of space between the rear tire and the mud flap here in the back. So what I did, instead of taking the tire off, was I purchased this Craftsman uh, angled screwdriver set, and it works perfectly for these screws, at least the larger one does. Um, again, you're only gonna be able to get about a quarter turn until it hits the tire here, but for me, it was more ideal to do this instead of taking the wheel off because I have a downward facing driveway. So this is just what worked best for me. This was about $6 from Lowe's. Um, yeah, it worked out great. And then for the back two, you're gonna need to use this tool and it is an 11 millimeter and it will fit for the top pretty well, but for the very back one, I ended up using some adjustable locking vice grips to then uh, tighten it from underneath the car, and that worked out okay. I will say that this is not a complete tutorial video, I just wanted to provide some helpful tips for people who did not want to take their wheel off, so I would recommend still watching the instructional video that RecGen provides. There's also another one out there by another Crosstrek owner who does a great job providing a succinct video. So, cheers!